We are just 34 minutes away from launching this Atlas V rocket you see right there on your screen. On board are several payloads, including NASA technology that could revolutionize how we communicate to and from space. Thank you for joining me for today's live launch coverage of NASA's Laser Communications Relay Demonstration, or LCRD. I'm Megan Cruz, and I'm joining you live from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Today's two-hour launch window opens at 4.04 a.m. Eastern Time, and that rocket you just saw sitting on Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, which is just behind me across the water here. Now, LCRD is hitching a ride on the U.S. Space Force's Space Test Program 3 mission, or STP-3. You can think of the Space Test Program as a ride share to space. It's primarily for the Department of Defense to send up science and technology experiments. But if there's room, others can share that ride, and that's what NASA is doing today. So what does LCRD look like? Well, there it is in the middle of your screen there, about as big as a king-size mattress, sharing a spacecraft with other payloads. It will showcase the unique benefits of laser, also known as optical communications. NASA has relied on radio communications since we first started exploring space, but as we fly more missions that generate more data, and as we work to establish a presence on the moon and send humans to Mars, we are of course going to need a communications upgrade. Lasers can transfer a lot more data at once. How much more? Well, say there's a high resolution map of Mars. It would take about nine weeks, yes, nine weeks, to send that map to Earth using radio waves. But using lasers would only take nine days. 